everyone welcome back to my channel it's janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like and make sure you hit that notification bell to let you know when i upload new videos to youtube and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back all right in this video i am going to go over my tummy tuck actually my tummy tuck story in 2014 i actually got a tummy tuck done as well as a breast lift as well and yeah, I'm going to share my story with that. I had lost um, 100 pounds previously, um, way back in 2013. It took me over a year to do it. That was the first time that I had a major weight loss. And I maintained it for, I think it was six months, and then I decided to get a tummy tuck done. So in this video, I will be showing clips that I took when I got my tummy tuck. Pictures, kind of, I took, I think, weekly pictures. You will see those as well. And then you will see a video of what I used for the healing process, which made my scar look amazing in the end, and also two things that you will need and set up post-op for a tummy tuck as well too. So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching. All right, everyone, I am finally down to recording the rest of this video now. So yeah, so I got my tummy tuck done and it was in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, which was about two hours away from where I live. And it was just a day surgery. Um, it was a five hour surgery that it took. And I stayed overnight and they had no beds for me. I still remember this. They had no beds for me and they put me on the children's ward, which I'm sorry, but it was horrible to recover in. Um, you know, the constantly babies crying. And of course I just have that instinct. Um, to be awake if I hear babies crying, right? So it was really, really a tough night. I was only there one night, thank goodness. And Jimmy came with me, but he had to get a hotel room. Um, I actually shared a room, so there was two of us in there as well, too. And uh, I got nauseous a lot. That was the big thing, was that um, anytime I come out of anesthetic, I get very, very nauseous. Um, so I never did puke like when I was at the hospital, but I was nauseous every, every time um, that I would get up or have a drink or anything. It was just, I react like that anyway, so I kind of knew that that was going to be happening. And um, yeah, so everything healed well. They gave me, I think it was Demerol, I believe, for the pain, which was a shot in like the butt cheek, right? Um, and that's what they gave me for pain management at the time. And it worked fine. Like, I would say the only thing that was really hard, it was it was so tight. Um, you'll see in my video when I came home, or the picture when, from when I came home, I was really hunched over. And I was like that for a good four days. Um, I do have pictures that I took weekly, so I will insert some of those now. Um, I did have two drains that I had for... The first few days and then i did have to go back to lethbridge for them to take it out i never had any issues i emptied those twice a day i had to measure the fluid as well too but they gave you all of that at the hospital i did pay for my tummy tuck uh, my husband and i had actually saved up money for me to get it because it was like a lifelong dream that i always wanted to have a tummy tuck and i did have to pay it now here in canada you can get a gastric bypass surgery done for free and the kicker of that is what really irks me even to this day is you can go for that surgery if you're very obese um, and it's causing a problem in your day-to-day -day life and after you lose all the weight whether it's 100 pounds 200 pounds they actually pay for your skin removal surgery and I did it the hard way, guys. I did it diet and exercise. At the time, I wasn't doing keto. Um, I was just kind of watching what I ate. I did Weight Watchers. Then I was doing carb cycling, and I was exercising a lot. That was my period of when I was really, really into exercising and exercising every day, twice a day. And uh, but I did it the old-fashioned way, and I ended up having to pay for for my surgery, which you know is kind of a kicker, right? So I believe it cost. I want to say it was like 8,000 Canadian dollars, I believe. Like I said, that was a long time ago. I have no idea where any of the paperwork is when I paid, but I did have a um, a consult. Like a, I consulted with the surgeon, the plastic surgeon actually prior to, and he went over everything and I'm su surprised that he never did mention a 360 for me. But um, I was just going to get the tummy tuck done with the ab repair and then he said in the end that it would only be like a thousand dollars more if i ended up getting the breast lift 
I've always had kind of a larger chest anyways. Like even now I'm 134 pounds and I still have like a 34 D. So <laughs> it doesn't matter how small I get. I just always have been bigger chested. Um, and it's not all what it's cracked up to be guys. I'm telling you that right now. You know, a lot of people want to get implants and go bigger and double D's and <laughs> it is not fun. It is not fun at all. Um, but it's everybody's choice, right? For me, I would have loved to get a reduction to be honest, right? But, um, gravity took over a couple years after I ended up getting the breast lift and, um, they're definitely not as bad as they were as far as the loose skin that I had on uh, my breasts. Cause I did have like a lot of loose skin on, on my breasts and I would be able to like to pinch that and everything like that. And it was just, it was a lot. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that was kind of my surgery the day of, um, and it took five hours. Then I stayed overnight. The next day, I we drove home. Jimmy drove me home. I couldn't wear a seatbelt or anything. I was friggin' drugged up. They ended up giving me a little prescription of Percocets. And I had taken a half of one of those because I react really, really bad to strong medication. So that's what they gave me for pain management once I came home. I had ended up buying a recliner that was electric, which I found on Kijiji for $50. I wasn't going to get it. I was just going to use one of our recliners. But that was handy to have. I also so had a walker as well, too, that my mom had had. Um, she never used it, but she just had run across it for when she got older. And I was able to borrow that, which was very, very helpful. So make sure you get a walker. And then I'll insert some clips here of kind of a little station that my husband had set up for me. Um, it was just kind of like a little trolley, like with wheels on it. And he had set up like my chargers. I had magazines in there. I had a shelf for like my meds. I had a shelf for some maxi pads because I was putting that over top of my incision as well, just for extra padding at the very beginning when I got home. And yeah, I had my stool softeners and I had Restore Lax, which I was taking on a regular basis. I never did have any trouble with constipation, but I was taking that on a regular basis. I had extra strength Tynol because after day one of the Percocets, I actually did throw up. I got so sick and I was only taking half of a Percocet, but they just, even T3s bother my stomach. Like I can't hand any strong medication like that. And I'm telling you the worst thing ever when you're through, I hate throwing up to begin with, but to throw up after a tummy tuck, that was more painful than the whole surgery recovery put together. That was so painful because you think about how much you actually use your stomach muscles um, to throw up. And so I stopped taking that. I was like, that's the end of it. I'm not taking anymore. And I went to extra strength Tynol every four hours. And that helped. Like I said, it wasn't really one or the other. The only thing was the tightness of the tummy tuck that was kind of painful, I guess you would say, right? Um, but yeah, the walker, I got around with that um, just to get up and mobile out of my um, recliner. I took two weeks off of work. Um, the first week was probably the worst. Um, I, I insert pictures here of like the weeks that I have went through. So week two. Uh, so week one was pretty bad. And then week two, once I got the drains out and such, it started getting better. And I started being able to stand up a little bit straighter. I wasn't forcing that by any means. It was just kind of naturally every day that I could notice that I was getting straighter. And I was wearing my silicone um, um, band as well as my compression garment. They gave me a compression garment when I was in the hospital. So I wore that quite a bit. It became like a security to me. And... Um, my scar healed really, really well. I'll insert some pictures of like week four. It was already looking really, really fantastic. And as time went on over the next few months, it got better and better. I never had any sort of infections. I took really good care of, of everything. I never picked or scrubbed or anything. Like when I was in the shower, my doctor had told me not to do that. Just to pat it when you're washing, pat it dry. Um... And I had sturdy st strips actually that were on my, my incision and I had to wait until those naturally fell off. So I did that as well. Um, you'll see in one of the pictures that I have shown that I had the sturdy strips and I just waited for those to fall off. And um, like I said, it was a really, really good healing process. Now that I look back on it now, I did a lot of research and YouTube videos of what kind of to get and what to prepare myself to get. So those are the recommendations that I would give. Um, 
I would say definitely a walker and an electric recliner if possible to buy it used because it's something that you just won't use afterwards. And just to prepare yourself with a little list, like maybe the maxi pads or the extra strength Tynol, um, some stool soft softeners, um, vitamins, make sure that you're taking your vitamins. I kind of did like a high protein diet um, for a month afterwards, just because protein does aid with the healing process. So I was, I was doing a lot of protein and um, the vitamin C and uh, zinc as well too because I had heard that zinc was um, really important for your recovery. So um, I just did my own research. Make sure you have your magazines um, and Netflix and download some movies and stuff to keep you busy because you won't want to be doing anything. Making sure that you're meal prepped. I had my husband um, and he did a lot of the, the cooking. I didn't have an appetite to be honest but... Still, it was somebody there if I needed something. He took a few days off of work to help me. And then after that, I was okay being home alone. And I had uh, meals prepped, like I said. Um, so just those sort of things is what I would recommend. For your tummy tuck, it was it was so exciting. Like I still, the day before, I was so excited. And I don't regret it at all. I would do it again tomorrow. It was one highlight of my life. Um, and... I don't know, that loose skin that I had, I could never get rid of myself. There was no way. It was just literally loose skin, and I call it like an apron. It just hung there, and, um, you know, it was a dream of mine to get a tummy tuck done. And I'm so grateful that I did it. I highly recommend it. Through the pain, just remember the end result. Um, it will last forever. Your scar will heal. And, uh, you know, as traumatic as it may seem right now, um, day by day and how hard it is to move around just remember that you'll get through it and drink your water make sure you're getting your fluids take care of yourself and get your rest and I, I always wanted to film this video um, since I started YouTube but I haven't got around to it so now I, I did it and um, actually who inspired me to do it and to kind of get motivated to get it completed was Kim on Kim Kim's Commitment YouTube channel. I will link her channel down below. Um, I love her channel. I, I hope she posts more. I know she just went through a tummy tuck surgery. Um, and I think she got a thigh lift and a breast augmentation. So she is some, doing some heavy duty recovery. So Kim, hello. And I hope you're enjoying this video. And I hope it gives you some insight and some inspiration and motivation to take care of yourself and how you're feeling, um, it will pass. And um, yeah, and that's, I think that's about it that I have to say. Like I said, it was the, is the best thing that I've ever, ever done. And uh, yeah, just make sure you're doing your, what, make sure you're doing whatever your doctor tells you to do as well too. These are just, I'm not a nurse or a doctor. This is just my personal, um, journey that I went through and what I felt and what I did on my tummy tuck journey and uh, you know you're gonna love the results and it'll be worth it and it'll be the success story at the end of closing that book closing that chapter of the weight loss you know to me that was such a, a huge success story once I got that done and and could feel uh, I guess normal again right because clothes never fit right exercising was horrible and it just got in the way. I know a lot of people even get infections with their loose skin, right? Um, I never did, but um, a lot of people do get that and get sores and stuff because just the loose skin and just the moisture that it creates underneath there. So just know that you've done the hard work, you've lost the weight, and you know, you've, it resulted in a tummy tuck for you yourself and you've worked hard to get there. Don't let every, anybody criticize you for doing something for yourself and to getting that tummy tuck done and to think, you know, I got criticized, I a waste of money and it was a vanity thing and you know, everything. And I was just so happy and so thrilled that I got it done. I worked hard to get that done financially and physically. Um, I did it all myself. And that was rewarding just in itself. So remember that when um, you do get some feedback, whether it's positive or negative. All right, everyone, I am going to, all right, I am going to show um, my tummy, my tummy tuck scar today. <laughs> um, and today is 
December 4th, uh, 2020. So I guess it's been almost seven years since my surgery, I guess. God, I can't believe it's been that long. Cause I think it was 2014 that I got it done, right? So um, I am going to show you my scar now. Okay, so there is my stomach. So now it, you can see the scars that I have underneath my belly button. All those scars were the scars that were above my belly button. Um, you've seen in the video that I showed at the very beginning of before my tummy tuck. So I've had two girls. My oldest daughter, um, she weighed 10 pounds. Rosie, no. She weighed 10 pounds, so she was a big baby. I got a lot of stretch marks from her, um, plus obviously the gain that I've weight, um, the weight that I have gained as well too. So all those stretch marks now are below. This is a brand new belly button. Um, I will try to get like a close up of my scar in there. I don't know, the girls say I, I have a weird belly button, my girls, but I like it. Like compared to what I had, <laughs> I had um, some belly button rings previously. So my old belly button was like so scarred up and just not looking good, but you can kind of see the scar a little bit there. So that's my new belly button that they made because obviously they pull all the skin down and they create a new belly button for you. Um, so they did do some ab reconstruction as well too because of my kids. Um, my abs had separated, so they did do that as well too. This is me. I haven't worked out for a long time. Like not horrible, but I can see a little bit of definition, I guess, right? Um, these stretch marks are original. That's what I've always had because the tummy tuck only went so far. You can see that. I never did get a 360. I wish now I would have, but it's no big deal. But the scar goes to right there. And then this is, this is my scar. You can see the white line there. And this is where it goes to on the other side. Those are original um, stretch marks. And yeah, you guys, like, it's done pretty pretty well, I must say. Um, I'm really happy with it. I had a really, really good surgeon here. I did my research. Um, the surgeon was about two hours away in Lethbridge, Alberta, in Canada. And I will link him in his information below, just in case. Um, I also used um, a scar, like it was a silicone for my healing. And I also used bio oil, which we have here in Canada. And um, I used the silicone um, first. I forget the name of it. I will link that down below as well. And I put that on and I left that for months actually. Um, probably I think like six months I put it on. If it wasn't all day, I would put it on at nighttime. And I feel like that really, really helped my scar. My scar is like completely flat and there's absolutely no bumps. I never had any infections. I never had any problems with um, any of my scars, actually. Um, it healed really, really well. Um, so I also ended up getting a, a breast lift at the time, and I do have some scarring from that, obviously. Same sort of thing, nothing got infected though. But the breast lift only lasted a couple years just because gravity took over, I wanna say. So I'll continue on that in a little bit here, but I just wanted to show, um, uh, my my scar here. I'm going to show a little bit of a more of a close up so we can get really personal. And that's obviously close up. You know, you don't see all these um, the scar close up, but he did it right on my hairline, which was awesome. And that's a close up video of it. Like I said, you can see see my my scar is pretty good when I bring it that close, <laughs> but. Uh, I'm okay with that. I, I would rather have those scars down there than all the loose skin and all the scars. Like I had my scars were covering my whole entire belly. So, so anyways, that's it. That is today. And like I said, today is um, December 4th, 2020. And this is what my scar is looking like today. And so anyways, that's my tummy tuck story, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and hit that notification bell. And it is Vlogmas, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go.